Hello everybody, welcome to Career Right. Your score in quantitative aptitude depends on how accurate your answers are. And in answer to this post of mine on Career Right, many of you mentioned that accuracy is something that you struggle with, especially when it comes to the questions that involve a lot of calculations, like those with fractions and decimals, HCF, LCM, etc. So, in today's video, let's see the common reasons behind this problem and their solutions also. The next 6 minutes you are going to spend on this video are going to be the most important investment if you want to improve your score in quantitative aptitude. So just disconnect yourself from all the distractions for the next 6 minutes and pay attention to what I am saying here. And by the end of this video you will be able to see an immediate 30 to 35 percent improvement in your accuracy rate. So when you are dealing with quantitative aptitude, the most important thing that you have to remember is accuracy comes first, speed comes later. Now understand this, when you rush to solve things quickly, you make mistakes and lose your confidence and this is a cycle that continues. So focus on accuracy first, once your accuracy becomes stable, speed will automatically improve. The second thing is read the questions very carefully. Most of the mistakes happen because students don't read the question fully and land up solving for the wrong thing. Underline what's given and asked and filter out all the noise that's given just to confuse you. The third important factor that you have to pay attention to in quantitative aptitude is unit conversion. And this is one of the biggest accuracy killers here. So always recheck the units, especially if the questions are related to speed, time and distance, then profit and loss, work and time, etc. Trust me, just this one habit can improve your accuracy by 10 to 20 percent. And it is not at all tough to fix this. These QA videos from Career Right teach all such unit conversions in such a simple manner that you are bound to get them 100 percent correct if you study them well. The next important thing is don't solve the questions in your head. Mental shortcuts work only after you have mastered the concept. Most of the mistakes that you commit arise from missing out a digit or wrong cancellations or missed numbers. So my tip to you here is write key steps. It takes just 3 seconds but saves 30 marks across the paper. I know you are worried about time management, we will come to that also in the next video. But if you are at an initial level, make sure that you write and practice. Then make a list of the most common mistakes you commit. See most of the students never go back to analyze the type of mistakes they commit. Those who do always improve. Some of the common mistakes that you would find in your solutions would be things like reading or copying the figures wrong or solving the brackets wrongly or copying the wrong numbers when you go to the next step of the solution. So find your mistake pattern and fix it rather than trying to work hard everywhere else. Accuracy and score will improve instantly and I say that with 100% guarantee. Okay, now let's come to the problem that troubles most of you. And it is calculations involving decimals, fractions and simplifications. So see, if you want to improve your calculations, there are some chapters that you must learn and practice, whether they are mentioned in your syllabus or not. These chapters are numbers, HCF LCM, fractions and decimals, square root and cube root, simplification and thirds and indices. See, even in this chapter grouping, that I provide at the beginning to every new batch of students, I have mentioned these chapters at the top. Why? Because these chapters form the basis for almost every other topic. If you skip them initially, be prepared to lose out. All of these chapters are covered in Career Rights Quantitative Aptitude Playlist. The link is available in the description box below. Then when it comes to quantitative aptitude, avoid guesswork. 
See, quantitative aptitude is not like verbal ability where intuitive guessing can work. So my tip to you is, if you can eliminate at least two options, only and only then consider guessing. Otherwise, your accuracy is going to drop significantly. Remember, accuracy is a skill, not luck. It's not gifted, it's trained. And the last reason that affects 90% of the genuine hardworking students that included me also once upon a time is anxiety and wanting to do too well. See, many students struggle with accuracy not because they don't know quantitative aptitude, but because they are anxious, rushing or trying to score too high, too fast. Take a deep breath before you begin. Slow down for the first few questions and stop worrying about the perfect attempts. Accuracy improves when the mind is calm. Build this habit during practice and practice tests. So this is all for today. Many students have also asked me for some guidance on improving time management during the actual test. Very soon, I'll get you a video on that also. To make sure that you receive that video, subscribe to Career Guide. In the meantime, if there are any other quantitative aptitude related challenges you're dealing with, please feel free to comment below and let me know. I'll try to help you with them also in one of our future videos.